How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. Last time, we finished off the very first world of Donkey Kong Country 3, known as Lake Orangutanga. And in this episode, we're going to begin the next world, known as Crumwood Forest. So without any further ado, let's hop in and take on uh, Springin' Spiders. There we go, I can read... Even without glasses, I can, I can still read. I'm uh, legible, right? Legible, or isn't that when you? No, le wait, no. Legible is writing, right? I don't know. Anyway, it's yeah. We're in a uh, we're in a tree trunk level, and it's actually quite interesting. And I want to quickly be quiet so you can listen to the music because I really love the music in this type of level, 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 level in particular. I love the music so much in this level. Anyway, uh, well, all of the tree levels. I, I love all my tree children equally. Uh, anyway, so we're playing as Squawks now. Squawks is back. Squawks and On Guard are the only animal buddies that appear in all three of the trilogy games, which is quite cool, although I do miss my Rambi, and I do miss my Winky, so I mean... You know, I, I wish they would have brought Winky back. When is Winky going to get justice? For not being in Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3, for that matter. Of course, they have freaking Ratley, though, and Ratley the stupid snake. Anyway, gotta collect some bananas, so let's make sure we can actually come over here and collect them. I missed one. Alright. Gotta basically do a rotation around the B here, around the zinger. Make sure we don't hit it, obviously, because that ends our bonus game. And then on our way down, after we do collect all of the bananas, make sure that we don't hit that other one going back and forth. It would really help if all of these bananas were in the same location. Of course, why couldn't you? I don't think any banana appeared up above this, which is weird. Okay, make sure- Oh, that was actually pretty close. <laughs> Another second of hesitation, and I probably would have hit that zinger that was going across. Luckily, that didn't happen, though, so... Alright, here we go. I b yep, bananas are hidden behind you, and now we're saying goodbye to Squawks already. Squawks, I'm sure I'll see you again, probably in, like... Actually, I don't remember where Squawks is next seen in this game. Uh, it's been so long since I've played, like, before... Uh, I jumped right into that. Uh, before doing these... Uh, before we let's playing these games, I literally did not play any of the trilogy games since the original let's plays that I did. So, like, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, I hadn't played since those let's plays, and those were like, those were like, what, six years old? Like, I pretty much did Donkey Kong, I did Donkey Kong Country 1 as my third let's play when I started out. Uh, so that was, I believe that was late 2011, early 2012. Uh, so yeah, seven years actually. Uh, pretty much seven years, I would say, even if it was 2012. Um, yeah, man, so, so much time not spent playing Donkey Kong Country. I mean, I've played the other ones, but I mean, nothing compares to your first love being the trilogy. All right, can we... Can, can we get the coin dozer to be... Come on, coin dozer. Come on. C come on. There we go. That's going to be the ticket. And I'm not even going to go down. I could go down and I could, you know, do some fancy stuff. Well, actually, this was more fancy than going down and around. And I... Yep, okay. Well, I deserve that because I did it the harder way. All right. Let's make our way through here. I don't think... Is there anything actually... Oh, there's a TNT barrel, right? I don't know if there's actually anything up there. Hopefully I'm not missing out on anything. That would actually suck. Oh, well. I ended up going there anyway. Uh, what's over here? Nothing? Okay, I just wasted my time. Cool. Uh, there is the zinger. I'm gonna destroy you. I wish I would have kept that, actually. Maybe, maybe I don't need it. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Oh, goodness, that was pretty close. 
Oh god, uh, why are you going back and forth? Why are you invading my personal space? That's not nice. All right, here we go. Got our, uh, we got our kitty back. We got our little cousin kitty. Okay. Oh, I wanted to keep that from the other zinger. It's okay. I Do we actually need it? Oh, there's this, uh... Is this a robin? I don't know the birds. Uh, but there's the bird that swoops down. Uh, you'll see that a lot more, so keep that in mind. Uh, and we got the G, which is good. Oh, bonus level. And some bear coins. Not bad. I do need to go back to, uh, that first area by Wrinkly's Retreat. And I need to... Go visit that general store, because that will become important a little bit later on. Anyway, I gotta collect some stars, so let's just float down. Perfect, there we go. Got them all, got that bonus coin. Let's do this. Let's finish off this stage rather strong. We got our DK coin, we got the bonuses. I'd say we're in pretty good shape, and that was the G again. Did it respawn? I guess. I could go back and collect all of the letters again if I really wanted to, but... I don't wanna. There we go, we completed the stage, flag at full mass, which means we got every single thing. Awesome. And now we could do Cranky's Dojo in this world, but I'm gonna skip out on that, because pretty much all of the Cranky Dojos are the same, to be honest. Riverside Race. Okay, this level's pretty cool, because as you are gonna see in the bottom right corner, this is a timed stage. And there is a certain record that I hopefully am going to beat. Now, there are bonus levels in here. This is, like, all of the non-boss levels have uh, bonus levels. So, I'm going to avoid the bonus levels for now. But, eventually, we'll come back and we'll maybe do them. Alright, so, let's make our way through. I'm gonna just try to complete this as fast as possible. Trying to not get hit with enemies. As soon as I said it. <laughs> Alright. Hit the halfway barrel. We got a split time, which means it stalls for 10 seconds, so we're good with that. Okay. Let's make sure... We also have mosquitoes chasing us, which, um... Yeah, they will kill you if they hit you, so don't get hit. That's all I can really say about that. Alright. Let's make our way. We still got 20 seconds. We can do this. We're coming up right at the end here, so all we gotta do... Is not fail. All right, here we go. We're almost there. We missed the O. That's fine. I actually could have grabbed it, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is. All right, and there we go. We got the new record here on Riverside Race. Awesome. And now <laughs> I see that Swanky's dash over there. I'm going nowhere near it. So, I apologize for the jump cut, we're playing Squeals on Wheels, and, uh, yeah, this level's pretty cool! It's, uh, you gotta hit the rat enemies while they're in their little wheels, like hamsters, and you can access areas, which is pretty cool! Alright, so, hopefully there will be no more interruptions, that would be quite grand, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, so, we gotta, ooh, that was close, we gotta hit the rats, like I said, and, yeah. Just pretty much get the meter to green and unlock the doors and you'll be all set. Alright, there will be obstacles in our way from now on with the, uh, with the rodents. They're gonna have some zingers blocking the path, but it should be okay. Should be okay. Keyword should. Um, oh, we got a bear coin. Nice. Okay, I want to avoid the zinger. There we go. Okay, I want to avoid you. Oh, well, never mind. It's alright, we didn't... Uh, we had another barrel right here, pretty much. Alright, hit that, jump up, and there's gonna be a bonus level right here. Alright, bonus time. Yes, collect 20 stars after we went from 50 to 60 to 70, and now back to 20. And it's like it's not even that hard with the platforming between the two rodent wheels. It's not that hard. Uh, maybe for... The young kids getting into the series, it'll be hard, so I guess I can't really fault it without sounding like a total dick. Alright, here we go, we unlock the next area, so let's hit you, let's hit you, and let's jump up, and up again, because our other bonus area is like right here. Yeah, they're pretty much back to back, it's pretty cool. I like when it's like that for the bonus levels, and it's the exact same level, except there's 
bananas instead of stars. <laughs> no wonder why <laughs> they're so close together. All right. Oh my god, all the bananas were literally on that wheel. That is amazing. I love when bonus levels are that easy, especially in this game. The bonus levels in this game can be really easy, depending on your RNG with uh, the layouts of certain things. All right, so we are not at the DK coin yet. We should be there momentarily. Uh, is there a Okay, yeah, there is a they, they actually are way too generous with the steel barrels in this. All right, let's make sure we grab another one and hit you. And we're gonna hit you as well. All right, grab our N before we jump up. I need to do the double Kong trick. All right, oh. Oh, how did, did, am I screwed now? I'm actually screwed now. I, 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 Dixie. Dixie, can you get down here? Dixie? What if I... I can't even do a tag team maneuver. I can't tag Dixie in. Oh, no. I have to go through this entire level without Dixie now. Oh, God. Uh, this is very awkward. Uh, so, oh, no, there she is. Okay, she came back because I went into a barrel. All right, now we can backtrack... Oh, I was gonna say, watch me lose, watch me get hit as soon as I get both of them back. <laughs> that would have been icing on this disaster of a cake. Okay, there we go. Properly do it that way because this is where the DK coin is. Coin dozer, there we go. Got the DK coin. We are all set. We can finally move on now. <laughs> and we can actually make progress in this level. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. Up. To the side, hit you. I'm actually gonna grab another barrel here and jump. We don't need another one. I was sorely mistaken. All right, here we go. Hit you, grab another barrel. I'm just gonna hit you immediately. Uh, okay, yeah, there's another barrel over here. There, oh wow, we just barely hit that one. Goodness. There's one more rodent we need to kill before we access the next door. And that rodent is right here. That's very fast though, you need to be very, very quick. All right, we access the door and well, now we just need to fall down. It's like we're playing Belch's Barn again, going through these doors. <laughs> the steel barrel, we actually was able to take out an enemy. And we have a brand new animal buddy. This is Perry, the parallel bird, I think is its full name. I know his name's Perry, so that's really all that matters, right? There we go. Bring Perry up to the point where Perry can no longer return. And we were able to get a three life balloon. And we finished the stage with everything intact. And once again, Swanky's Dash, I know I had that little cut there, but I'm still not playing you. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, barrel shield bust up. Oh, ho <laughs> ho this level. Oh, goodness. Uh, should I play this right now? I don't know, honestly. You know what? I'm gonna save this for next time on the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. So next time, we will hopefully be finishing up Cremwood Forest. I should be able to. These first couple worlds, I should be able to knock out in two videos. Later on, though, is going to be a whole different story. So, with that being said, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later!